Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you guys for sure. So um, first off to you guys uh, that's new to my YouTube channel, welcome, 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 welcome. My name is Different. Yes, it's spelled D-I-F-E-N-R-T. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which educates, inspires, and entertains all at once. So again, if this is your first time, welcome to my YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, before you leave so you can receive uh, the latest updates on what's going on in Dickens World. If this is your second or third time back, welcome back. Happy to have you guys. Uh, happy Thursdays, you guys. Um, today's uh, vlog is going to be for our uh, movie review. Um, like I said, for this week early, I dropped my motivational vlog uh, about perseverance. And this week, that's just what I've been doing. I've been persevering through all the toughness that I've been thrown at all this week. Uh, I don't know if you guys can still tell by my voice, but I still am a little congested. I'm still in the weather, but hey, I'm going to persevere through it. I just came home from work, you know, spent two hours on the bus, you know, with, with the weirdos and everything, man. And, and just finally came home still got to get ready for tomorrow you know get this little this uh, video up for you guys but hey I, i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do that thing that's that's the point of persevering is pushing on and pushing through when it's the toughest for you when it's the hardest um and, and just knowing that at the end it'll all be worth it and so for anybody out there listening and watching man persevere whatever you're going through may be the hardest time in your life but just know you will get through it as long as you persevere you keep pushing you keep going you keep grinding and never stop so with that being said you guys this uh uh vlog content like i said is uh, gonna be our movie review i finally got into it i uh, was able to sit down and actually watch it finally i've watched like five times already but the fifth time i finally was able to sit down and just enjoy the movie and watch it through and through and i absolutely loved it uh, and that is uh, emancipation with will smith uh, i came out last december 2022 uh on Apple TV and so um, I got a chance to check it out and from beginning to the end I loved it I love the story uh, line behind it it's about uh, what was it's in reference or uh, basically about uh, the infamous picture of the slave uh, that was known as Whip Peter um, he was a Haitian Creole descent in, uh, uh, in Louisiana and uh, these were parts of his life that happened now of course there's Hollywood and then what's real what happened. So as far as, you know, deciphering what really actually happened, as far as him, you know, escaping, you know, with his freedom and going through the bayous and uh, joining uh, uh, Lincoln's army, I don't know that for sure. And I need to do a little bit more research on it. But as far as what the movie told, I like the storyline behind it. And it kept me entertained from the beginning to the end. Um, it made me think a lot about my book, What If the Controversial Paradigm Shift? and how it correlates with, you know, the point I bring about talking about the injustice that, you know, black people have been faced through in this country for centuries and somehow still, it, it's still going on. Um, but getting back into the movie, um, I guess, um, I didn't, I didn't really have, well, I had one thing I didn't like about the movie, but before I get into the, like, the negatives of it, let's talk about a positive. And, and with that being said, go ahead and check out the uh, movie trailer for Emancipation. And once we come back on, then I'll tell you what I don't like about the movie. Yeah, here it is. Give thanks to God. The Lord is with us. What can a mere man do to me? I will come back to you! You walk the earth because I let you. I'm your god now. Slaves are free. We must get to Baton Rouge through this swamp. Lincoln's army is there. There are many ways to die in a swamp. Let's 
Okay, to my family. What if he don't come back? Your papa is going to be back. Do not ever stop believing that. Peace persists. Running, hiding, surviving. Alright everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that movie trailer of Emancipation. Again, it's available on Apple TV. Uh, be sure if you don't have a subscription, check them out. They offer a seven day free trial. That's what I did. <laughs> so uh, don't be afraid uh, to go ahead and try that trial and check out uh, Emancipation starring your boy Will Smith. Now, as I said before, I did not like one thing about the movie and that is dun 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 dun, dun. Will Smith's accent. I mean, uh, I don't know where, where to start with that. Um, I had so many uh, issues with, you know, his accent, his voice. Um, I know he, he's a method actor. He studies his work. And again, I'm not, no disrespect to Will because, well, it ain't like he gonna walk up on stage and slap me. I wish a nigga would. I'm <laughs> just saying. But in any case, you know, I still respect, respect Will Smith and his acting abilities. You know, he did an amazing job. It's just his accents, mm, I don't know. It's not believable for me as far as, you know, him playing the Haitian Creole accent. Uh, it sounded more to me like uh, the movie he played. What was that? Concussion? Yeah. That's what his accent mostly uh, resembled to me as a, as a African, you know, like a Nelson Mandela type or, you know, one of those type of, of, of uh, accents. It did not pass off to me as an authentic, if one, Creole. Now, I never really heard of a Haitian accent, but I know a Creole accent when I hear it. And, Mm, no, nah, it didn't really work that way for me. I know I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. So with that being said, if you agree or disagree with me on my comment, be sure by showing me, uh, by liking, share, comment, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, as well as checking out my other vlogs and what I have posted. Uh, but with this vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed my outtake on it. I hope you guys go and watch the movie and you share your reviews on it. Um, I would definitely give it, a, if I had to, a 10 out of 10. I would say like a 9 out of 10 um, because of, again, the Will Smith's accent. Everything else was, was amazing. Cinematography, you know, the background, music, the score of it, everything, you know, except for the accent. Just, you know, at times that's what it was throwing it off of me. I just couldn't stick with it. It was a distraction, if you will. Um, but other than that, I give it a cool, you know, two thumbs up. So if you guys haven't gotten a chance to, sure, again, be sure to go ahead and check out his movie again, available on Apple TV or the app. Go ahead and make sure you download that as well. Uh, and with that being said, don't forget, you guys, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely appreciate all the interaction that I'm getting and the views and the likes and the shares. Please, please, please keep it coming. I love it. Um, also, you guys, moving on, don't forget, uh, you guys can check me out on all my other social media handles, um, Facebook, I don't know, Facebook right now, you, you know, they, they try to delete my profile, you guys, this is where I'm at with it, um, it be like that sometimes, that's, a, that's another topic for another day, but you have me again on, uh, YouTube, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, uh, as well as with my own website, differenceworld.net. You can be sure to check me out there. And if you guys have any type of motivational speaking event you'd like for me to be involved, you can go to my website, again, differencewell.net, and book me there. I am getting free of charge as of now, but that's likely going to change <laughs> pretty soon. So, uh, again, check out my website for that as well. Don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, it should be popping up, yep, yeah, right here. 
right here. I'm not sure which way. But either way, um, be sure to go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy. Again, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is a book that is written to encourage and inform about provoking conversations about systemic racism and injustice in America. Kind of like emancipation, but within a written book form. <laughs> so again, uh, be advised that it is, again, sensitive content, so it's intended for a mature audience. And so again, if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Why? Because I, again, want you guys to have these conversations that need to be had. Those, you know, working around the edges conversation that, that that pushes people away, but yet brings them together. And so that's the point of this book. And so if you're interested, especially with Black History Month around the corner, uh, my peoples out there, go out there and support your girl. Go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get you a copy of my new book, What If Controversial Paradigm Shift. Yeah, much appreciated. Uh, what else we got going on in Difference for you guys? Tomorrow's Friday. Yay, happy Friday. Chicka, chicka, chicka. And so I'll be dropping another travel vlog. This will be, I believe, uh, when I went to Spain, Barcelona. Um, it was part of a, a multi-trip thing I took. Um, mess around and miss my fuckers <laughs> again. So this is a whole nother topic. But that's coming soon. So that's why, again, you got to hit that subscribe button. When you get notifications and learn what's going on in the Difference World, you come and learn. Yeah? And so be on the lookout for that, uh, as well as let's go ahead and do a mental health check uh, before we get out of here. You know, Third Eye Entertainment and in the Difference World, we push and advocate for mental health wellness, and it's no different uh, with today's vlog. So with that being said, anybody out there that's going through any type of depression, anxieties, you know, feeling suicidal, any type of, you know, mental anguish that you're going through, please know that it is okay to not be okay. But never, ever, ever sit there and not be okay. Please go get help, whatever that may be for you. Be it talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, getting rid of those that mean you know well, mending those broken bridges, or whatever the case may be. Go do what's best for you that gets your mental health in check and keeps you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you know or need these, anybody who needs these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255, or you can call or text 988, or you can text 741-741. For those that would prefer to go online, you can check out mentalhealthishealth.us, or you can go to 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. checking out my YouTube channel, yes, I got people all the way out there in Sri Lanka. They know who I am, so shout out to them. Um, but for those that are outside of the U.S. and need any type of mental health resources, you can check out incounseling.com. They give you a directory for each country's uh, mental health resources website and phone numbers for those countries. So check them out. Again, go E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And again, just remember that it's okay to not be okay, but never, ever, ever sit there and not be okay. Um, and I can say that to you guys because I'm practicing what I preach at times. And even right now, I'm not okay physically. I'm sick uh, mentally. You know, I'm, I'm drained emotionally. You know, I'm depressed. I miss my mother. Um, but I know it's going to be okay as long as I keep persevering and pushing and going forward with life. There will be, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. And so... I say this freely because I'm living it, and, and, and living is the truth. And so I say these words to you, true, tried and true. You know, you put forth the effort, beautiful things happen. And so again, whatever you're going through, keep persevering, keep going through it, and, and push through it. You will get through it, and you will achieve it for all. With that being said, you guys, I'm going to close out this vlog on a positive note. Uh, be sure again to check out uh, my other vlogs as well as don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with this one. Uh, and again, whatever it is in life that you are feeling that you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Different 12. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if at 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift 
It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial death and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.